and we're asked here to differentiate uh, each of the following with respect to x and simplify your answers. So firstly, we're asked uh, for part a, our function is y is equal to cot x squared. Now before we launch into this, let's just take a pause and take a second. This is different to y is equal to cot squared x because this means cot x, that whole function, squared. Right? Whereas this, it's just the x that's squared. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put brackets around it to remind me that it's cot of x squared. Okay, now that's going to help a lot. So basically what we're differentiating is y is equal to cot of some function of x. Okay, so it's going to be the chain rule. We're going to apply the chain rule here. And what we're going to do is the formula booklet, which I've pasted here, gives you the following formula. And it tells you if you differentiate cot, you get a negative cos x squared. So by the chain rule, if you differentiate cot of a function of x, you get uh, f dashed x multiplied by this. So it would be negative cosec squared f of x. Okay? So if you differentiate cot, you get this. I'm just applying the f of x inside the cot, so I would also get an f dashed x here. So therefore, dy by dx in my case, well, I differentiate the inside function, which would be 2x, and I multiply it by negative cos x squared of x squared. Okay, and if I simplify that, it's negative 2x cos x squared x squared. Now again, to check this, I could get the calculator out, and what I could do is I could do d by dx of the original function. Now cot x squared is 1 over tan of x squared. So I could just do that, and I could evaluate that, I don't know, at 1. And I get negative 2.82, and if I put this in my calculator here, if I put uh, negative 2x cos x squared, means over um, sine squared x, so sine uh, of x squared, and that whole thing actually squared, like that. And if I evaluate that at calculate at 1, I get what I got before negative 2.82. So I know I got the right answer for that one. Uh, one. My function is, uh, for part b, y is equal to x squared e to the negative x. You should immediately spot this as a product of two functions of x, where u is equal to x squared and v is equal to e to the negative x. So u dashed must be 2x and v dashed must be negative e to the negative x. Okay, so off we go. We state the rule we're going to use. We're going to use the product rule. So dy by dx is equal to uv dashed plus vu dashed. And just a substitution game here. So these two multiplied together would be x squared negative e to the negative x. Add these two multiplied together, 2x e to the negative x. Could do a bit of factorization. Could obviously factorize out an x and an e to the negative x. And what you're left with here, a negative x uh, plus a 2. And the neatest way of writing that is x e to the negative x, 2 subtract x. Again, I would check this with my calculator uh, using the d by dx function here. d by dx is my original function. Substitute a value in and check it equals uh, the same as when I substitute my value into the answer. Up to part c, sine x over 3 plus... Uh, so our function for part c is y is equal to sine x over 3 plus 2 cosine x. Um, yes, that's right. And immediately we should spot this as a quotient with that our u, that our v, where our u is equal to sine x and our v is equal to 3 plus 2 uh, cos x, cosine x. So therefore our u dash would be cosine x and our v dash would be negative 2 sine x. And we proceed by stating the quotient rule dy by dx is going to be vu dash subtract uv dash divided by v squared. It's a substitution game here. So vu dash, these two multiplied together. So we've got 3 plus 2 cosine x 
and multiply by cosine x. Subtract these two multiplied together, so it's going to be negative 2 sine x multiplied by a sine x. And all of that divided by uh, v squared, and v squared is 3 plus 2 cosine x, all squared. Okay, do a bit of tidying up here. If I multiply out the top, I get 3 cosine x plus 2 cos squared x. And then subtract negative this, so it would be a plus, and we get 2 sine squared x. All divided by 3 plus 2 cosine x, all squared. Okay, so uh, we've got 3 cos x plus 2. Factorise 2 out of these two here, and I get a cos squared x plus a sine squared x. Now the reason I did that, you should be looking for those. You know that cos squared x uh, plus sine squared x always gives you 1. So you should be looking out for these type of things because it will really help you in your working. So therefore we're going to get 3 cos x add 2 divided by 3 plus 2 cosine x all squared and that's our dy by dx. If I was you, I would, in the exam, take the calculator out, differentiate that function and substitute a value in, and then substitute that value into your answer and check it's the same to check you got the right answer.